hotels that are on city property where they have to pay the city rent, they're asking for rent relief. And, and we're looking at a, 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 some, some hotels in the Mission Bay area, and they're also asking them to defer those potentially as late as June of 2022. Now, the context of this is that right now this, the city of San Diego, and there's a lot of dominoes in this process, all conventions and large group events have been fundamentally canceled through the end of 2020. 30% of San Diego's tourism revenue is based on conventions and large events. And so hotels, whether they are in the gas lamp, whether they're in Mission Valley, they are all substantially affected. There was a study done by a firm called uh, Tourism Economics that basically did a, a assessment of how is San Diego going to recover if there's going to be basically no revenues at the, uh, for the remainder of 2024, large groups and, 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 and conventions. And they're not going to see convention growth returning to somewhat normal, still about 20% below, until the second and third quarters of 2021. And hotel revenues will not catch up until late 2021 or early 2022. The city is between a rock and a hard place. And the reason is because with literally hotel taxes going down to virtually zero or substantially below, the city revenue projections are going to be much lower. This means that the city's not going to be able to meet the budget that they proposed uh, a, a month ago, and potentially they may have to cut services. The stimulus package that will be uh, negotiated in Washington over the coming weeks has to have a lot of relief for cities and states because um, the city is going to really undergo substantial revenue shortfalls that they're going to have to make up somewhere or else cut services for all citizens of San Diego. It's a record drop. 32% decline in GDP growth is, is an astronomical number. It's, it's the biggest drop since they've been keeping records. So we're in uncharted territory. 75% of that decline was personal consumption. One of the things that uh, economists were looking to is whether this was going to be a V-shaped recovery, meaning that there is a big drop and then we're coming bouncing back. Economists were predicting a 21% growth rate in the third quarter. This is going to be highly doubtful because uh, beginning in July, uh, even though the state had kind of reopened during the month of June, after the 4th of July holiday, uh, California and Texas and Florida all kind of slow down their, their openings or even cut back on openings. And probably another two dozen states did the same thing. So that 21% growth rate target that economists had predicted earlier in the year uh, is going to be uh, suspect. And actually, who kind of supported this was Jay Powell, the chairman of the Fed. So on Wednesday, Powell said, look, economic activity is really going to resume only once the virus is under control. And he's been an advocate uh, of, of a very aggressive stimulus package by um, Congress in order to keep the economy moving in the right direction. Um, so this is a, something we have to kind of track because although the numbers were dire, the first half of the second quarter was the all the economy was shut down completely. So we're going to keep track on what's happening over the third quarter, but the first month of the third quarter being July is not letting this third quarter get off to a good start.